I think for me it's, it's about learning that doesn't discriminate against anyone. It gives everyone the opportunity to learn about the world they live in, the society they live in, the environment and the natural surroundings that they live in. Uh, because if people don't understand that, then they don't have the power to engage in what's going on around them. Global citizenship education has to be a priority in securing uh, the sustainable development goals, but also you know, issues around democracy uh, and citizen engagement. And we're seeing that with uh, youth activists around the world being able to, to mobilize people. But it's absolutely essential, it's not just young people, but we don't miss out on those people who are an older age now, who maybe haven't had uh, that type of education. So how do we bring those people in and ensure that their voice isn't lost um, in challenging power and ensuring that it's better distributed across the citizens of the world? So in the work that I was uh, leading on a couple of years ago around sustainable development goals when I started the project, um, I worked with uh, some ethnic minority groups uh, on the sustainable development goals. And it was the first time that we'd worked with this organisation about the SDGs and the, the coherence between the domestic agenda and what's happening overseas and, and diaspora. For me, it was really interesting because people that we were meeting for the first time had an opportunity to talk about issues in their own countries, but also how it connects to issues in Scotland too. You know, us not necessarily seeing uh, sustainable development as an issue that is as important to places like Scotland or the UK as it is to maybe uh, a country in sub-Saharan Africa or, um, or anywhere else. And I think that project for us was really helpful in, in kind of setting a, creating a space where people could come together around familiar issues now the severity of those issues might be different, but actually we could sit around the table and talk about hunger in a way in which we could understand the differences of the severity, but also um, recognise that each country has their own individual problems and, and we're not as different as um, is made out in mainstream media uh, or what our politicians might want us to think. For 4.7 to be implemented, it has to be, uh, I don't always like using this word, but it really needs to be thought of as kind of sitting almost above the other goals. And it needs the links into all of the other SDGs uh, and raise the importance of global citizenship education in achieving those goals. Uh, from what I can see uh, in, in certain countries and, uh, and uh, particularly even in the network that I'm coordinating, there's been very little discussion about 4.7 or even goal four. But it's essential. If people don't understand what we're trying to move towards, uh, then how can they ever change? And, uh, and that's not just for citizens, but it's also for people in government, people in parliament, and raising that knowledge and, and understanding of why global citizenship is important for all of the goals and how it has to be embedded in education at all levels.